Hello, people. Welcome to an episode of Iron Fish Mining. Uh, the water is down today, so I stand a really good chance of finding decent gold. Uh, I hope I do. As uh, I've been informed by my employer that because of the holidays and stuff, we probably won't get a lot of work in. So, I'm going to come out here and make up the difference in gold, which is better for me. Non-taxable. I love that. So stick around, stay tuned. Uh, because of the water level, I'll probably be doing everything in one little area, which will save me time of packing stuff. So I brought the tripod so it's steady, not shaky. Maybe I'll be able to show you some stuff. All right, people? Let's get to it. Get to work. So yesterday, this was the area that I was digging, and I left this little uh, hole thing here. This rock, this one, not the one that fell in there, but this one was causing when the current came over, it made it swirl. If I could find something like a leaf or something, maybe. Ah, I'll try it out. Coddling the leaf down. See how it got sucked down? There it goes again. It's being sucked down in the current. So, right in here last night, filled up not only with that big rock which I can see gold on top of it but all the heavies fell in there and in that secondary one right there that's kind of why I do that as this stuff thins out and it's going to blow all the light stuff over the top all the heavies fall in there which you can see in the bottom maybe I learned that from the Auburn boys and the Bear River guys. They dig these little pits and then stack rocks. I thought, who in the hell is making fire pits out in the middle of the water? But that's where I got it from. They do this. You can't have too many rocks. One rock generally is the best, though I've seen guys do a whole bunch. But one generally is uh, good as it splits the current and then makes this right here. It's all in the way you splice it, baby. So I'm going to dig some of this out, clean that, and then I might try to get out, since the water's low, to that V where I know the good stuff's at. It's right there on that line, but it's kind of deep. And this water, I'm not kidding, is like ice. So i got to be careful not to fall in this stuff. I would totally die. I don't do cold well. Alright people, you saw me digging and such, blah blah blah, I'm kind of panning out this, the blondes, the lighter stuff on this before I run it through because I don't want to catch any of the junk, but I'm seeing good gold today. Usually when I can see it showing up in here, I get out of the light. And I got it in slower current so the gold doesn't really have a chance to blow out and got the X formation. There's a lady down here walking down. Her and her boyfriend have caught me down here mining a few times. And I told her to come watch Iron Fist. So if you're watching, thanks for watching. It's kind of weird. You were here. 
saw me doing this, but now you're gone. Yeah, I'm getting weird. It's cold. It's been in the water for a while. But I'm gonna shake out these blondes and keep feeding my thing. And uh, continue to just catch the shit out of gold. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get back to paying attention to what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Instead of trying to hold a camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to set it up on a tripod give you some footage, okay? How about that? Gold, losing gold, losing gold. Nice gold. Nice gold. Not too bad. Blonde sand, no good. Get out there, blonde sand. You have no money in you. Oh. Yeah, that hole really paid off today. Um, at least as far as catching black sand. You know. And I've seen some pretty big pieces flying through, so... Let's hope... That today I get a crap load of gold. Is that sure like me a crap load of gold? Kind of tired of these little bits of gold. More and more. More and more. Mine, mine. More. You gotta mine to get more for me. And this really saves time in sluicing too. I mean, why do you really want to wash all that other junk? And you know where the gold's at, you know. <laughs> Not time to help you down. Oh man, there's a nice piece right there. Next. Time for the clean out of the money cow. Here's some of the gold starting to show up. I can get this light right. There we go. Whoops. <clears throat> there you can see it. Some of these light angles are screwing it up. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's all in there. Nice. Alright, so there's the stuff out of the money cup. I got a big chunk right there, and then all that. And then this stuff is all from the uh, the sluice dumpings. It's going to take me a minute to get this light right. I got a little soap in the water for panning, see? <laughs> but look at all the gold in there. You see all that? That's a lot of gold. When, I like it when the sluice turns gold. I like it there's a lot more, but there's quite a bit in there. As you can plainly see. Lots of gold, lots of gold. There's lots of gold over here. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Lots of gold all the way down. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Lots of gold in there. There's a big piece. Lots of gold, lots of gold. Oh, there's a big piece. Sweet. My final cleanup. All done. Got to wash up. 
I told you at some point I was going to show you all of my gold that I've got so far since I've been dating these. And there it is. Here's all my shiny. From that spot, using the way I do it. Any ding ding could go down there and find a couple flakes, but you're not going to find it like that. That's a lot of gold, man. Sorry. It's hard to hold the camera on it. Plus the mercury and it's making it float. I hate that mercury. It's a lot of gold though, yeah? Uh, fan it out. Fan it out for him, people. There you go. Good shot of Dan's gold. I put that in a container and go pet my dog and stuff, but it's a nice pan from Iron Fist, right? Look at all that. It's what going out and doing a little hard work does. Pays off, right? Non-taxable income. 